Fixed. Easy. No problem. Ain't nothing but a thing. <laughs> Too easy. Come on. <laughs> so stupid. So the issue is if I, if I close the server, host another one, there's two servers now. So disconnect server, if multiplayer is server, close server. You'd think that if person who created the lobby leaves the lobby, it would destroy the lobby. Go so Steam, leaving a lobby. So just create lobby, just leave lobby, join lobby. I mean, it must just be leave lobby. Request lobby, so when is request the lobby? So that's on visibility changed. So is the issue that I'm not updating? Uh, actually wait, no, now if I join here, Mm. Oh, but, oh no, <laughs> damn. Steamworks lobby API, close lobby. Steamworks lobby list filtering out specific. <sighs> oh yeah, I was gonna ask ChatGPT. <sighs> I'm using delete lobby. There was definitely no delete lobby. There is no delete lobby. There's gotta be a way. What am I missing here? If I close the process, it's definitely gonna go away. So something, something is persisting. Because it, it caches the data. So we're not requesting any more lobby data. So this is never called. Create lobby rows is never called. So this is never called. Now, now, should just work. Bam, quit. Point. Mm. Why? What? Why is it coming back? Wait a minute. Wait just a gosh darn minute. And I'm assuming, yep, leave lobby. On server disconnected. Now I'll just call it again. That's gotta be it, right? Come on. Watch this. Join. Fuck. I really thought that was it, honestly. It's not sensible. On server disconnected. Hmm. When the host quits, then the server disconnected callback is gonna fire, which we'll call this, this peanut on server disconnected. So that is happening. But the confusing thing, so I hit join. I see it because I still have the server running. If I quit on here, it's not gonna show here anymore. Join. Let's try joining. Disconnect here. Okay, we still see it. So is leave lobby just not working the way that I think it's working? Here, create client. Like I'm leaving the lobby in both places now. There's only two different ways that the, the peer connection closes, and that's you explicitly call disconnect server, which calls peer.close, or on server disconnected. La la la. Don't know what I can do other than just leave lobby. There's an issue. It should be in here. Let's go to quest lobby list it looks like this is a reference it seems to run on some form of electricity okay so this is the callback i mean it doesn't look like anything could go wrong there if is the steamworks sdk here oops i assume there's nothing else that needs to be done in request lobby list i mean that's just it looks pretty straightforward leave a lobby this will take effect immediately on the client i mean this is all just like pretty much just bindings not a lot that can go wrong here maybe i'm just being real stupid I would like that it's like a flush no Leave lobby, lobby ID. Okay, I need, I need the SDK in here. Okay, what if I do something wild like, and I do PNET, leave lobby. Nothing, nothing. Am I not saving lobby ID correct, or persisting lobby ID correctly? Lobby ID, and this is set via on lobby created, and Is, it, is that is that it? Is it as simple as the fact that, that I am not persisting lobby ID on the clients? This this value right here, this little this little value right here, this one, the on lobby join and and get lobby owner this value here. When I disconnect, I'm passing negative one into leap lobby. That's all that's happening. Lobby join, lobby ID equals lobby ID. So that just like that. Is that what you're saying? If I do something crazy like like this, and I and then I join it, and if I disconnect, and now that I'm sitting lobby, I need to actually disconnect it, and I click join it, I see a lobby, and it just works. So, ah. Fixed. Easy. No problem. Ain't nothing but a thing. <laughs> Too easy. Come on. <laughs> so stupid. Oh. How long was that? 